sweatpants are a sign of defeat. You lost control of your life, so you bought some sweatpants. That is a quote from the patron saint of this blog, Mr. Carl Lagerfeld, and our topic for this week, dressing like a grown-up. I can't tell you how happy I am that this is our topic this week. I had a revelation about 10 years ago, and I should probably preface by saying that I didn't always dress like a grown-up. In my teens and 20s, I dressed mainly like an adolescent, like most people do. And there was this one time, I think there was a wedding, I was wearing a suit for an occasion, as nice as I ever dressed, and I had some errands I had to run in this window of time. I distinctly remember going to a grocery store and walking in and noticing that it felt different from every other time that I went into a grocery store. I felt more serious, more grave, more grown up, and I became thirsty for that feeling. I wanted it to be a part of my life, and it didn't happen all at once, but Moving towards that has turned out to be one of the more enriching endeavors of my life so far. I look at the town around me and the men, and I think that I can apply this to the country in general and the tentacles that we have going to other nations throughout the world in our culture. Flip-flops, shorts, t-shirts, and baseball hats. And as it gets colder, you will replace shorts and flip-flops with jeans and sneakers. This is how an adolescent dresses, and if you're still wearing these things in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, it just seems to me like eating oatmeal every single day of your life. I'm not saying t-shirts are bad. I own some t-shirts. They're for sleeping in, or wearing occasionally on the weekend. They're a sometimes treat. It just seems to me that wearing the same things that you wore in high school or dressing in the same manner is so monotonous and unimaginative. It seems so odd to me in a culture that is so consumed with individuality to have this uniform emerge with just different images printed on the t-shirts. This isn't a reflection on people's character per se, although I think back on the time of my life where I dressed in this manner, and I wouldn't have characterized it like this at the time, but my god was my belly and point southerly, and I dressed accordingly. I dressed for ease and for comfort. And it seems to me like when you're in traffic, you are one piece of the traffic. This is not an external force acting on you. You are one piece of it. And when you are a member of a society, you are one vote within that society, no matter what you do. So if you decide to go out looking a mess, you are one piece of that culture looking like a mess. And if everybody decides to look a mess, then everything looks a mess. The other side of that coin, if everybody decides to look nice, everything looks nice. So I have a couple of reasons why people might choose to dress like a grown-up. One is for a better world. You've heard it said, dress for the job that you want. I would go further and say dress for the life that you want. Dress for the world that you want. As I said, you are one vote. And you might say, well, what do I care what other people think? I understand that, at least in concept although I do think that you do have some responsibility as a member of society, but I would respond to that objection by saying, focus for you. I have a friend of mine in India who asked me about Walmart because Walmart's coming to India, and I told him about some of their atrocious business practices, how they've destroyed communities in this country, and how horrible I think they are in general. And I may write about this at some point, but in thinking about this, I thought, you know, I'd like to say that's why I don't shop at Walmart, but really the reason I don't shop at Walmart is because I can do better, because it is a horrible shopping experience. It is the bottom of the barrel. 
And I'm sorry if this sounds snobbish, but that's how I feel. And you may be saying at this point, with me raising that particular objection, but money, Paul, but prices. I would submit to you that I am probably in a lower economic class than most of you out there. I am not a wealthy man. This shirt cost me two fifty. This tie cost me two dollars. In fact, almost all of my ties cost me two dollars. And that's another reason why you might choose to dress like a grown-up, because you can. We haven't had our dandy revolution yet, and so clothes that dress you like a grown-up are not in high demand. You can go to a thrift store, and you can find very nice clothes and make yourself look nice because people don't want to, and there's an abundance of it out there for the taking or the purchasing at a small price. I think that people ought to dress a little nicer, and I think that if you do, you will find it rewarding for you and for those around you when you dress like a grown-up. It's a simple, easy, and good way to make your life more enjoyable and make the world a slightly better place. All of us are a drop in the ocean. What's your drop going to look like? Ta-ta. <laughs>